Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely gorgeous. 64 degrees right now. Expecting a high of, oh, up around 83, 84. Water temperature 79 degrees. Great morning for a beach walk. Let me flip the camera around here and we'll head out to the beach. We're down at the south end of Area 4 right now. This is one of the picnic areas. These picnic tables and barbecue grills, they're just all along the beach here, just off the beach behind the trees. There's a, a nature trail that parallels the beach. And you'll find probably at least 100 picnic tables. Some white ibis running around over there. I don't know if you can see them in the distance. The white birds. There's always little squirrels jumping around in the trees there in the morning. I have not seen a lot of raccoons lately. We did have a problem with those raccoons. They were really becoming a nuisance. I have not seen raccoons lately back here in the picnic areas. You definitely don't want to feed the raccoons. Let's mosey on out to the beach here. Duck under the sea grape branches. Low tide. It was around 10 a.m. this morning. Fairly clear skies out here this morning. Some high, thin, wispy clouds. It's supposed to get a little cloudier around noon today for a couple hours and clear off again. Walk down the beach a little further south here. See what we find. Little worm tip. Starting out with a worm, a worm tip right away. Look at that one's pretty worn out there. The tip of a worm shell. Little kitten's paw. Be, yeah, it's hard to, yeah, it looks like a kitten's paw. Maybe in a jewel box. Hard to tell on that one. Absolutely gorgeous, though, out here again this morning. Yesterday was just a fantastic day. Picture perfect day. Looks like today is probably going to be the same thing, a repeat of yesterday. Really quiet out here again this morning. can tell our season is winding down rapidly now. Fewer and fewer people here every day. Not a whole lot of shells on the beach down here. Right now we're right in between areas three and four.
pretty soon we're going to start seeing sea turtle tracks on the beach. Sea turtle nesting season officially begins in May. We have loggerhead sea turtles that nest here on this beach. Those are the most common sea turtles here in Southwest Florida, the loggerheads. They get to be pretty big too. So hopefully we'll have a good nesting season. Hopefully we won't get any hurricanes coming through here. That's hurricane it. We had some really big storms and Hurricane Irma last year and it destroyed a lot of our sea turtle nests, unfortunately. We had, I think we had close to 60 nests on the beach here at Del Nor Wiggins. There's a nice little pile of shells here on the beach. Anything in them? Let's take a look. Anything. Nothing's jumping out at me here. Part of an old, looks like an old whelk shell there maybe. Yeah, part of an old lightning whelk. catch up with Roy here a little bit later. Maybe I'll do what we did yesterday and let you guys ask him a couple questions. He enjoyed that. I'll try to hand the camera over to him and if he puts his glasses on he should be able to read the screen. Another little worm tip. He really gets a kick out of seeing the comments and the hearts flying across the screen. Oh, here's a, looks like a dead horseshoe crab. Yeah, this, this is not a shell, a shed shell. This is sadly a dead horseshoe crab. Probably a victim of the red tide, but that's the horseshoe crab. That's the front end. They kind of crawl along the bottom like that. You can see his two eyes there. There's one of his eyes, the other eye there. And this tail, you don't want to step on it. Definitely got to see these barbs here, these spikes. So that tail, it's, you'd think it looks like a sword or a weapon, but they, they use that to flip themselves over. If they wind up on their back, they push themselves over with that tail. That's the primary purpose of that tail. It's really not a weapon or a defense mechanism. But that's a horseshoe crab. We have a lot of those crawling around, crawling around on the bottom out there in the Gulf. Not an uncommon sight on the beach, the horseshoe crab. There's Roy up there in front of me. Stop and say good morning. And we'll have our little chit chat later. There's a big slipper shell, big fat slipper shell with a big hole in it. A candidate for the shell tree, a slipper shell for the shell tree. Maybe I'll put that in my pocket for later. See how Roy's morning's going. Hey, Rob, how are you doing this morning? Good, how are you doing? Wonderful, just wonderful. Always wonderful, yeah. huh? <laughs> Life is just so glorious, isn't, isn't it? It is. Any dolphins out there? This yeah, morning? there was a dolphin out in the, in in the, the river Wiggins there. Pass. Yeah, uh -oh. in the past. Darn it. 
<laughs> well, maybe he'll come swimming by first, here. First one I've seen in uh, quite a few days. Uh, didn't see any yesterday <laughs> afternoon, huh? No. After I left, none came down the beach. No, none at all, but he was in the past. Oh, that's good. Going well, you're going to have down. a great, when you see a dolphin, that's good luck. And when you see a dolphin in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yesterday, everybody enjoyed uh, the chance of asking you some questions. So maybe we'll do that again <laughs> when I get back here. I'll, I'll hand you the phone and you can put your glasses on and I'll show you the screen here. See if you oh, look at see that. this, the people are making comments here. No kidding. So when I get back, I'll hand you the phone and you just make sure you point it at yourself so they can see you and they'll ask you questions. Oh, I like that. All right, so we'll have a little question and answer. Roy, <laughs> <laughs> that'll be fun later. Well, I don't know about the answers, but I like well, questions. Whatever, <laughs> you don't have an answer? You, what do you call that? I always say, yeah. who knows? Exactly. <laughs> But well, that'll be fun. Yeah, that will be. So I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna take my walk up here and okay. let you finish your good walk. Good morning. Good morning. Finish your walk Wonderful. down the beach. Oh, How are you? Fine morning. Oh, good morning. oh there he I get goes. A morning hug. Oh, I'm the luckiest guy in this whole wide world. You sure are. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Of course. You have a great day. What a wonderful hug. Bless you, dear. Oh, Roy. Well, Isn't there you go. Charming. God yep. sake, what a charming lady. <laughs> They're just the nicest ladies on the beach here. They're all so sweet to me. Everybody. There was just, a, I mean, the guys are nice too out here. Oh but. yeah, yeah, they're good, but <laughs> but but I don't get hugged. Exactly. <laughs> More of a good morning and maybe a handshake. There you go. <laughs> yeah, everybody's great out there here. There was a girl from Switzerland up the beach too. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, those Swiss girls. All the way from Switzerland. Nice. So you're doing good already this morning. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got a nice smile on your face. <laughs> Everybody wants, you know, they enjoy your smile. Now they see why you're always smiling. It's because <laughs> of the hugs. Yeah, who could, who could <laughs> help you not to smile? Hugs. They thought that you were happy because you're at the beach. <laughs> hugs from beautiful young girls, my gosh. Yep, that's funny. <laughs> Can't beat that. All right, well, I'll catch up with you in a little bit here. Okay, right. All right. Wonderful scene. Always, you. yep. Yeah. Don't let the sharks get you. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that. that is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. We are blessed. Sun's just starting to peek out over the trees. You can see some streaks of light hitting the beach. Our good friend Roy. So yeah, later on I'm going to hand the phone over to him, the camera here, and you guys can ask him some questions. That'll be fun. We'll see how that works out. He's going to walk back up the beach up to his spot in Area 4. I'm going to head up towards Wiggins Pass, see what we find on the beach, see if we find any seashells. Maybe we'll get lucky and spot a dolphin. That'd be great. I haven't seen a dolphin in a while. They're here. They just haven't been out during my beach walks. They definitely are here. The dolphins are always out here. Sixty-five degrees now. I'm warming up. I'm gonna get up to a high of around eighty-four today. Supposed to be relatively clear skies. Water temperature 79 degrees. If you're just joining, we're at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. Beautiful Florida State Park. A mile of beach here. No homes or condos along the beach. All natural. They really don't do too much to this beach. They kind of let Mother Nature run her course here. Other than picking up trash, that's about all they do to preserve this beach. So it's constantly changing shape and size. Hey, here's a really nice little cockle shell for the shell tree. Look at that. That's a beauty. It's got a nice little hole in it. 
Definitely gonna keep that one. Great shell tree material right there, this cockle shell. That's going in the old pocket. Now I just saw a little olive shell down here. Where did it go? There's a nice little olive shell. That's a great little olive. The olive shell. There's Debbie. What's up, Ranger? Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Ranger Deb is doing good. Ranger Deb. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. How are we doing this morning? How's the beach good. looking? Looking nice. Yeah, no dead fish. I haven't seen any dead fish. That's a good sign. This is a good sign. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't smell the red tide. No smell. I think it's a, <laughs> some of it's a little bit north of us, but I think they're, they're south too. I think they south. got some down towards Marco. Oh, did they? Yeah. Well, I can stay away from this beach for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's beautiful here. Look who showed up behind us. <laughs> <laughs> it's Roy. Roy. The man. Yeah. Glad you're keeping everything so nice and pristine clean. Oh yeah. Trying to. They yeah. do their best. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Bad. There's a, a bag of trash already. Yeah, not too bad today though, yeah. I have to say. Yeah. It's usually yeah. weekends are the worst. Weekends are the worst and then holidays are out, out of control out with of the control trash. And holidays and then during the summer. Yeah. When we get our beach back. Yeah. <laughs> when we get a beach back, then we get everybody wants to come over here. Yep. Yeah, that's gorgeous. It's a beautiful place outside. Well, yeah. hopefully that dredging will have, make us have a more more beach. Yep. Where are, where are they dredging? Are, are they going to go along the coast or just in the past? I think they're just in the past. Okay. As far yeah. as I know. Well, they, they got two barges. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't understand why they're way way out there. There's if you look real close, folks, you can see a a barge way way out there i don't know if i can zoom into it from here you can see it there on the horizon that's one of the dredging barges there's two of them out here yep and there's another one let me see if i can there's the other one that's right in wiggins pass that one right there in the center of the screen it looks like they're dredging out the pass it's really a mess right now it's really shallow Anyway, they judge that quite a bit, though, don't they? Yeah, I and I heard that th those condominiums pay for that back there. Nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they can get their boats in and out. It's not coming out of taxpayers' dollars. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a, at least that's what Bob told me years ago. Well, that's nice. That's not all of us have big boats. Said, yeah, you said Bob just retired. You told me the other day Bob retired. Yeah, he's retired. I don't I know if I, our friends remember our month. old park manager, Bob Steiger, but he went up to Lover's Key and... Oh, he retired? Yeah, he retired. Deb, Deb said he retired. Here. Oh, we're getting another manager. You Oh, well, it happens. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a barrier island, what can you say? <laughs> there you go. Things come and go. Come and go. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Oh, well. Oh, wow. Maybe you should apply for the position, Roy. Wouldn't that yeah, be nice? Ranger Roy. <laughs> Ranger Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger Roy. RR. Nothing would get done around here. I know. Everybody right. just, we could all just hang out at the beach with Roy. He'd have a badge to go get hugs. Oh, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be, Give him a badge I'd be to get hugs. the beach every day. That's yeah, Roy, would, Roy would probably stick to the rules. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, Roy compromises. He's a compromise. Yep. Good. All right, you got to get back to work. Yeah, I don't want to get you get fired. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day, Deb. <laughs> Ranger Deb. <laughs> yep, yeah, she's funny. All the Rangers are great here. Oh, aren't they? They're all really yeah, friendly. Good people. Yeah, really friendly. That's the part of the job they don't like, the trash detail. <laughs> When they get stuck on the trash detail. Yeah, but they're all friendly and chat with you. Yep. All very nice. You get that harmonica warmed up too. Get the sand out of that thing. 
<laughs> Maybe a we'll tune this one. Yeah, we'll get a tune. We'll have a quick. We'll have a question and answer, and also a little uh, concert. Hey, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be out? Check the submarine races. The submarine too. races. Okay. You yeah. gonna be out on the beach, or you gonna be up under the tree? Under the tree, probably. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get up here a little bit ahead of you. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Boy, lots of shells here. Look where the high tide was. Oh, did they get that thing out of there yeah, yesterday? Thank goodness. There's a lot of little shells here. A lot of seagrass too. A lot of seagrass on the beach. are a lot of little shells down here. What all is in there this morning? Goodness. A little worm tip. We always find these. These are pretty abundant, those worm pips. I'm gonna get a little closer to the water here. Roy's singing, she'll be coming around the mountain up there. <laughs> He's a hoot. Water's a little cloudy looking this morning. This should be clearing up though. The sun's slowly coming up over the trees there. There's a lot of shells right here in area four. Something about the shape of the beach they collect here. There's always a lot of shells that collect on the beach. Some beautiful little shells. Look at that. It's a little tiny slipper shell. That's a little baby slipper shell. Let's see if it looks like a slipper. Oh yeah. Still looks like a slipper, even though it's a baby when you turn it over. That's why they call it a slipper shell. That's just a little tiny one. How cool is that? We saw a lot of fighting conks up to the north of us here yesterday, the northern end of the beach. seen any moon shells lately. 
Sure like to find a nice moon shell. Royce said he saw something. Where's an old lightning whelk shell? An old lightning whelk. What happened, Roy? <laughs> Maya from Switzerland. Hi, how are you, Maya? <laughs> welcome, welcome to Del Nor Wiggins. How are you? Very good. Enjoying the enjoying the weather? Yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? She's all the way from where is it? It isn't Zurich, it's near Zurich. I'm uh, near Geneva. Geneva, near side. Geneva. Yeah. How long are you are you here for? Uh, three days. Oh just three yes, days? Yes. That's a long trip for three yes. days. I'm going to stay ten days, so I'm very happy. Oh okay. Well welcome. Ben, ben Thank and Monica you. from Switzerland. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. From yep. Well, nice. Huh? Are you coming from Switzerland or no? No. 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 Yeah. <laughs> because he told me he has a friend from there. Yes. Yep. It's another person. Yep. Yep. On Facebook. Okay. He's he's the Roy is the Roy is the star. Uh, I understand. <laughs> yeah. Because my friend comes here every year and every year she can see him. Talks there. about Roy. Yep. Every year. <laughs> You're a lucky guy. All the <laughs> all the pretty ladies talk to Roy. <laughs> oh, lucky Roy. Oh, a, another. There's never enough. <laughs> there you go, Roy. Oh, I love it. See you later. Oh, Roy. You know, quite the ladies, man. Well, I don't know about that, but I'm just lucky. Just Good for you. Lucky, that's for sure. Good for you. The ladies are all so nice to me. I thought you saw a dolphin out there. <laughs> <laughs> I should have realized it was a lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember I told you there was a lady from yep. Switzerland, so I wanted you, well, wanted that's you cool. to meet her. It's amazing how um, the one volunteer, I forget what his name, he said he's met people from 96 different countries here. You're kidding. Yep, he keeps track of 96? Yep. Is this Richie, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richie. Yeah, yep. he talks to everybody. Yep. So far he's got, he's up to 96 different countries. 96 countries? I didn't know there were That's that many I, countries I in know. the world. <laughs> That's what he said yesterday. Well, I know I've talked to ladies from Russia here. Yeah. Russia and Poland and Scotland, England, Germany. There's a lot of little. There's a lot of little countries over there. I suppose, yeah. In the Ukraine and. But yeah. You know, about that. Australia, I think there yeah. was somebody. I know we got some uh, several people watch us that from Australia, from down under. Really? Yep. My gosh. All right, I'm gonna get back to the shelling here. Okay. Dolphin hunting, whatever. The shade of the old apple tree. All right, I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> Sing it, Roy. <laughs> oh, you gotta love Roy. I was just showing you that old lightning whelk I picked up a little earlier here. Let's see what else we come across on the beach this morning. Beautiful out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Our osprey nest up there. You can see you're right in the center of that tree there. I don't see any heads peeking out. I'm sure there's the females up there. She usually just kind of lays low in the nest. I don't see any movement. I 
old Roy singing up a storm. Roy is singing up a storm, walking along the beach, singing away. He definitely loves life. The water is really churned up here. Very cloudy this morning. Really hard to see the bottom. It's looking south, down towards the Naples Pier. That's park Shore, those condos down there. You're starting the concert early? And then that flatsome is soon forgotten. <laughs> but old man river, he just keeps rolling along. <laughs> That's you an and me, we sweat and strain. Body all aching and wrecked with pain. Keep dead barge, tote that bail. You get a little drunk and you land in jail. Reach down. I get weary and sick of trying. I'm tired of living and scared of dying. But old man river, he just keeps rolling along. Oh boy, Roy. <laughs> Sing it, baby. Down here it's Old Man Ocean. Old Man Ocean. I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be back for more here in a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you want don't more don't wear out those vocal cords. <laughs> old Man Ocean. <laughs> it's such a hoot. We're just gonna walk up to Wiggins Pass here. Hopefully we'll find a shell or two to add to my collection. There's a nice little conch. Saw a lot of these yesterday, the fighting conch shells, the Florida fighting conch. Haven't seen any live ones. The live ones are usually out in the water. But occasionally they do wash up on the beach and then we help them out by placing them back in the water. Always remember to place them. Don't just pick them up and throw them as hard as you can. Just set them back out in the water. If you find any live sea stars, do the same. Now we're crossing into area five. Lots and lots of little tiny shells. Here's one of our little kitten's paws. Those are, oh, hey, here's a neat one. This kitten paw. This is the whole shell. Usually you just find half of it. This is both sides of the shell, the kitten's paw. That's kind of neat. It's a tiny one. That's cool. The whole shell. I'll keep that one. Hey, good morning. I don't see anything worthy of taking a picture. Oh, there's millions of things. <laughs> there's a little worm tip down here. Oh, here's something cool. Look at this. Here's a worm shell. 
attached to an oyster shell. That's very cool. I'm going to keep that. The worm shell on half of an oyster shell. That is very cool. That is really neat looking. You never know what you're going to find. I mean, beauty is definitely in the eye of the beholder out here. There's a colorful tip of a worm shell right there. That's got a nice dark brown color. That's a pretty one. Look at that. That's beautiful. That lady said she didn't see anything worthy of taking a picture. Ha! Huh. Everything out here is worthy of a picture. Beautiful. There's so many beautiful little things to be seen here. You just got to take the time. You got to stop and look. I know a lot of our friends get a kick out of this worm rock. That is pretty crazy looking stuff, the worm rock. It's a little tiny piece. Occasionally I'll find a really big chunk of it. It's really interesting to look at up close. You can see the little worm tubes. Come on, focus there, buddy. It's just a little piece of worm rock. Always you come across these little piles, these little clusters, clumps of shells. If you stop and take your time, you're bound to find something interesting. It looks like the top of a little tiny tulip shell. Just the tip of a little baby tulip shell. There's a little baby. There's a little baby turkey wing shell. A little baby turkey wing. Neat shells, the turkey wings. I saw a couple jewel box shells here. Now I can't find them. It's funny how things disappear. You look up and you look down and you can't find them. Well, let's keep going up the beach here. There's another nice little pile right here. What else is down here? Hmm. Well, nothing's jumping out at me. Oh, there's a poor little puffer fish on the beach. That's sad. Little puffer. We're still having a few dead fish wash up on the beach. It's the effects of the red tide from the effects of the red tide. Not smelling any red tide this morning. I think we're doing pretty good. Here's another olive shell over here. A nice little olive shell. You find some really nice big olive shells on occasion. Certain times of year you can see these with the little snails in them crawling all around on the sandbar. Always check, make sure there's no living animal inside a shell before you take it home. You want to leave those at the beach. Anything that's alive, we leave at the beach.
It's beautiful. Gorgeous morning out here. Nice blue sky. Some little waves breaking on the shore. Hey, be sure to check out our event, our Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo event, our nonstop Naples event. That's happening at Felipe's up in North Naples, Felipe's Mexican restaurant. Check that out. I shared that earlier this morning, the event page. So be sure to check it out. It's gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of music, great food, great drinks, great people. Put it on your calendar. Come join us for the party. There's a beautiful little, another beautiful little cockle shell. Beautiful colors in these cockles. It's a nice little one. A nice little specimen. Seen a lot of little worm tips, wormy tips. A lot of our common shells, a lot of the clam shells, the little scallop shells. I haven't seen any big scallop shells yet this morning. Another of our very common shells here is the, is the mossy arc. It's a mossy arc shell. That's fairly common here. Try to get some light on it. There we go. The mossy arc. What else do we have down here? These are really neat, the little kitten's paws. You can find a lot of those. Different colors and sizes, the kitten's paw. Cat lovers collect these. The kitten's paws. You can get a good look at some of the erosion that's happening that's going on along our beach. We've had over the last oh, five, six months after the hurricane, we've had some crazy tides, high tides, extreme highs, and they're just pounding away, eating away at our beach here. See a little, maybe a little lightning whelk down here. Can you see the lightning whelk? Looks like it's broken. Can you find the lightning whelk shell there? And there it is, right in the middle. Let's see what it looks like. It's got a chip in the side. Still a pretty little shell. Nice colors, beautiful colors on this lightning whelk. I'm gonna keep it. That's the nicest little whelk I've found in a while. That's a nice one. Nice little specimen. Tiny, but nice. Looking for a moon shell. I have not seen any moon shells on the beach lately. This is 
This is a piece of a moon shell, the shark eye. It's all I'm finding is broken ones. That's the eye of the shark eye or moon shell. I'm just finding broken ones. Here's another. There's another one. You see, they're beautiful shells. Come in all different colors and sizes. See, this one's a little darker than that other one. I have not found a nice whole shell, moon shell. You see broken bits and pieces. But there could be one right here at my feet and I'm missing it. I mean, you gotta really have good eyes <laughs> to spot these things. A lot of them are half buried in the sand. Another beautiful little cockle shell. I saw a nice olive shell here. Now I lost it. I turned my head and I lost it. There's a scallop here. This looks like one of the black. That is a dark, almost a dark, almost black. It's like a dark, dark red scallop. Another little piece of worm rock down here. That's an interesting looking piece. That's pretty neat looking. Gorgeous out here. Hey, there's our ducks. Remember yesterday we saw the duck up on the beach? Well, let's see if I can zoom in to them. It's hard to see with the glare on the screen here. You see them swimming out there in the Gulf? Our beach ducks. <laughs> I still don't know what kind of ducks they are. I don't know if I can get any closer. Hard to focus on them. I don't know what kind of ducks they are. We have a little family of them living here at the beach. You see they're pretty far out there. Give you a look down the beach. Gorgeous. A mile of beach here at Del Nor Wiggins. All natural, no homes or condos. All unspoiled. Just like somebody flipped the switch and all of our northern friends left. I mean, the traffic has really died down. No, not big lines at the restaurants. What a difference a few weeks makes.
a little baby conch shell over here. Piece of one, maybe. It's missing the tip. That's a little baby fighting conch right there. Well, yesterday we saw a lot of fighting conchs up here. I guess people have taken those as souvenirs, the bigger shells. That's a little baby Florida fighting conch. They're really popular. They make great souvenirs, the fighting conch shells. Probably the most collected shell on the beaches of Southwest Florida by far. The tide is still going out this morning. Low tide's around 10 this morning. Here's another little conch. This one's pretty old and worn. See how smooth it is? There's a little piece of finger coral down there next to it. Is that a turkey wing? Yeah. An old turkey wing. That one's pretty faded out. Some neat rocks here at the beach. Neat fossils. You can find some really interesting fossils here at the beach. Some pretty old fossils too. For those of us for those of you just tuning in we're in north naples florida at del nor wiggins pass state park a beautiful florida state park just walking north along the beach there's a little pen shell p-e-n a pen shell we call it a pen shell when you kind of when you hold it up like this it kind of looks like a writing pen Use your imagination there. The pen shell. This is half of a pen shell. They kind of bury themselves in the sand. You can kind of see where the barnacles are. This one was buried to about where my thumb is. I don't think you'd want to step on those. The pen shell. There's like three rows of shells here. There's one along, right along this water line, and there's one right here in front of me, and then there's another row of shells up by the erosion here. There's a bigger fighting conch shell, a couple of them over here. This one here, buried in the sand. You can see why people collect these beautiful shells. The Florida fighting conch. There's another one down here. Beautiful. Look at the stripes on that one. Look at the pattern. Beautiful. Like another fighting conch. Yep, they're kind of buried in the sand here. Nothing in them. So you can take these shells home. Another neat little piece of worm rock. You can see how it kind of forms around a shell, an old little oyster shell there. The worm rock.
I know there's some people just jumped on here. So there's a little slipper shell. Get the sand off it, the slipper shell. See so when you flip it over, looks like a little shoe, a little bedroom slipper, a slipper shell. There's a little whelk. An old lightning whelk, and it's pretty old and worn. It's really losing its color. It's a lightning whelk. I have one in my pocket that I picked up a little while ago. Somewhere. Hopefully I didn't break it. You can see that's got some nice color to it, that lightning whelk. Beautiful shells. The lightning whelks. That one's top is a little crooked. Huh. Look at that. See how that the tip is a little crooked there. Almost up to the north end of the beach here. There's a piece of coral over here. A little piece of coral. It's kind of neat with the hole in it. Always something interesting out here on the beach. Another fighting conch down there. There's a worm tip right there. Tip of a worm shell. Big kitten's paw there. Big kitten paw shell. What is that over there? Something just caught the corner of my eye. Nice little fighting conch shell. That's a nice one. Nice little baby Florida fighting conch. There's just a piece of an apple murex shell right there. Just a sliver of an apple murex. Beautiful shells, the murex shells. That's a great little fighting conch. Little tiny baby mossy arc shell here. Find lots of these little baby shells. That's a little baby mossy arc. You start digging around in these little shells and you find some nice little surprises every now and then. There's a little, almost half of a sand dollar. There's a piece of a sand dollar there. You got lots of sand dollars out in the water. They're all alive, so you can't take them. Sand dollar. Part of a scallop shell. There, that's, actually, that's a nice looking little scallop. That's a beautiful little scallop. Nice looking scallop. Big old slipper shell. Boy, that's a big slipper right there. Kind of warm.
corn there on the underside. This is area five at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. There's five parking lots. One being the closest, the furthest south, the closest to the entrance. Five, the furthest one to the north, up by Wiggins Pass. If you wanna do some fishing, you need to go up to parking lot five. It's the only spot on the beach you can fish is up in area five, up by Wiggins Pass. Swimming only at the rest of the park. No swimming at the north end of the park. Fishing only. Prior to Hurricane Irma, which came through here last September, all these trees kind of hung over the beach. It's just like a canopy walking under the trees with your feet in the water. Hurricane Irma kind of destroyed this end of the park. Yeah, there's somebody made a heart out of some seashells. Kind of cool, huh? Roy said he saw a dolphin up here in the pass earlier this morning. It's been a while since we've seen some dolphins along the beach. They've been spotted out here. They're always out here. We just haven't seen them during our beach walks. We got a little shell that I picked up earlier, if you were with me. Picked up this little cockle shell. It's got a nice little hole in it. The cockle. Beautiful shells, the cockles. But I'm going to add this cockle to our shell tree over here. This is for everybody watching that can't make it to the beach on their own. I'll find a nice little branch to hang this on. Let's see. There's a good one right out here. And come right over here, hang it right there. A little cockle shell, there you go. There's another shell for all of our friends watching. right out by the water if you're wondering why there's shells hanging on this tree well, there's several reasons some folks just hang a shell as a decoration Others hang a shell and they'll say a prayer or they'll hang a shell and make a wish. But most of these shells, they were hung here in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So keep that in mind when you see these. These aren't just decorations. Most of them have some meaning to people. So show a little respect. Don't take the shells off the branches. There's several, several of these trees here at Del Norwegans. You'll find them at other beaches in Southwest Florida also. Beautiful morning. Beautiful morning in paradise. It's 
expecting a high of around 83, 84 today. No rain, mostly clear skies. This is what living in Southwest Florida is all about, for sure. There's part of a crown conch. I think we saw that yesterday. It's just a piece of a crown conch. See the inside of it. It's kind of neat. See the little chambers in there. Can't get over. What a difference two weeks makes. It's like somebody flipped the switch and everybody went back home, went back north. There's Wiggins Pass just ahead of me. On the other side of Wiggins Pass up there, that's Barefoot Beach. Another beautiful beach. That's a county park. This is the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. See a couple fishermen heading out over there. It's a fun place to come and park your beach chair. Watch the boats going in and out of the pass. Watch the fishermen. No swimming up here though, just fishing. That's the best place to do your shellings out in the water. Right along the edge of the shore, find some nice shells. Oh, a big jellyfish or something up on the beach here. What the heck? Oh, it's a bag of, somebody's bag of dirt. I thought it was a jellyfish. <laughs> it's a bag of sand. A lot of little shells up here. You want to take the time to go through them? I'm sure you'll find something nice here. It's a little piece of a worm shell right there. There's another piece of an apple murex shell. Apple Murex. What do we got down here? Here's the top of a shark eye shell or moon shell. That's the eye. The top of a moon shell right there. It's kind of cool. Let me 
Here's another nice little scallop. That's a great looking scallop. Another nice looking little scallop shell. You find a lot of these different colors, shapes, you know, different sizes, colors. These worm shells are fun though. You find them all different sizes of these worm shells too. I'm gonna to show you something here. See, this is the tip. This is the tip of the worm shell. They call that a wormy tip. And that's the actual shell right there with the tip broken off. So when you find them together, that's a nice little find. They're really fragile. So that's part of the worm shell and the worm tip right there. Very cool. Every once in a while you get lucky and find a nice big long one. Lots of shells you could dig through. Lots of piles here up by the pass. Boy, low tide here. Probably an hour away from low tide. Sorry about that, I just took a quick photo. And there's a look around Wiggins Pass, up the Cocahatchee River. A lot of fishermen up here along the beach. Kind of wraps around the corner there. A lot of folks fishing. I don't see any dolphins out there. Well, let's head back down the beach and touch base with Roy. I'm going to hand him the phone and let you ask him a couple questions. See how that works before I head out of here. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos here. Be sure to visit Nonstop Naples on Facebook also. Nonstop Naples. Nonstopnaples.com. There we share some fun things to do around town. Places to shop, eat. So be sure to check out nonstopnaples.com. Check out our event that we're having at Felipe's for Cinco de Mayo, Felipe's Mexican restaurant up in North Naples. Gonna have a fun day, lots of music, great food and drinks. 
check that out. I shared the event page. You can find that right below this post. Come out and say hi. Get your promo code from Nonstop Naples and save some money as well. Here's an old worn out conch, fighting conch. Just the inside of it. So many neat little shells on the beach. They're just so hard to see. You really just gotta take your time. Look at these little black scallops. You find these are really common. There's a brown pelican sitting out here in the water, just waiting for some unsuspecting fish to swim by. We've got a lot of these brown pelicans here. It's kind of bobbing up and down on the waves. Hard to hold the camera steady. It's going to take off. Yep. People just love their shelling here at the beach. Very popular pastime. Got a couple of dredging barges out here. There's one on the north side of Wiggins Pass. I don't know if you can see it there between the two markers there, the one dredging barge. It's on the north side of Wiggins Pass. And there's another one. Out here, that's the south of Wiggins Pass, just out from Area 5 Beach. Hopefully they're going to be cleaning out Wiggins Pass. It's pretty shallow and tough to navigate right now. Let's keep walking down the beach. We're up in North Naples, Florida. At Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. One of our beautiful Florida State Parks. 
nice black scallop shell. Nice little Florida fighting conch shell down here, buried in the sand. How you doing? <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful morning for a beach walk. Look at that sky. Nice blue sky all around us today. Little sandpiper running around on the beach there. Whoop. Scurrying off. They're fast. They're hard to follow with the camera. Beautiful look up the beach there. I'm gonna take a quick photo, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. To take a photo, I have to get out of the video mode, so the signal gets interrupted there for a minute, a connection. In a few minutes here, I'm gonna turn the phone over to Roy. I hope this will work out and let him, let you guys have a little question and answer session with him. Everybody's always asking questions about Roy and he really doesn't get on Facebook. So this is probably the best way to do it. If he can see the screen. Well, I would love to see a dolphin swim by here this morning. Got some great light out here. We've had some amazing dolphin encounters out here at this beach. The dolphins are all over Southwest Florida. There's some great dolphin excursions you can go on. You can go on a boat or you can go on jet skis. It's really something to see them on a jet ski, get really up close to them. They really like playing with the jet skis. Even paddle boards and kayaks. 
they'll come right up to them. So if you come down and visit, be sure to book a dolphin tour or a dolphin excursion. That's all you gotta do, just Google dolphin tours or dolphin excursions. You'll find plenty of great opportunities for seeing dolphins. But they'll come right up to the beach here, right to the shore, the edge of the water, chasing fish. And they put on quite a show. We got some great videos of it. You need to take some time and check it out. For my dolphin videos. You can find them on Facebook, you can find them on YouTube. Beautiful colors, beautiful sky this morning. Just loving it out here. That's me taking pictures when you lose a signal like that. As you can see, no homes or condos along this beach. All natural. Nobody up on a balcony with binoculars or a telescope spying on you. <laughs> Maybe break out his harmonica for one or two quick tunes. And then we'll let you guys, guys and gals, and ask him a couple questions and he'll just answer them the best he can. You won't be able to answer them all. The comments fly by pretty quickly on the screen here. But yesterday that we did that and it worked out pretty well. We got to know a little bit, bit more about Roy. And to save you from asking, Roy is 93 years old. He was in the United States Navy. He was an officer. He was a communications officer in the Navy. He served in, during World War II and got recalled and during the Korean War. He's a great guy. He's got a great outlook on life. You never know what he's going to say. He shares some great stories with us. You usually find him up here in Area 4 under the pine tree, and there he is. Sitting on his chair under the big pine tree. Find him up here, usually reading a book. Hey, Rob, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing. Still here. Still reading your book, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, it's warming up. Yeah, really warming up. Yeah, a bunch up. of no seams, that's for sure. Got some no seams up here. Yeah, a lot uh, of them. Well, did you blow the dust out of the old harmonica? Well, I can give it a whirl. Give it a whirl? Yeah, we'll see if it... See, see if it if still it's... works? Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll work after 80 years. The 80-year-old of... harmonica. <laughs> That's always something to hear that. Even if it's a sour note or two, who cares? Oh, what the heck. What's <laughs> it's the thought few... that counts. What's a few sour notes? A few sour notes. <laughs> Gotta keep on trucking. Keep on trucking is right. Sour notes or no sour notes. Oh, any, <laughs> anything you want to play for us.
<laughs> All right. She'll be riding six white horses. <laughs> yeah, when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. Okay, what was that one? Was it? In the good old summertime, in the good old uh, summertime, strolling down a shady lane with my sweetheart mine. <laughs> I hold her hand and she holds mine, and that's a very good time <laughs> to see your tootsie what see ya, the good old summertime i love it <laughs> <laughs> one more one more an oldie those oldies are great oh what is that sweet coral belt <laughs> Just got that one out. Yeah. <laughs> the reed is still there. Where does Old Man River start? Yeah, where is it? version of it I think yeah you don't <laughs> plant taters and you don't plant cotton <laughs> well you belted that out for us this morning <laughs> yeah and then right that the plants beach. them is soon forgotten yes sir <laughs> oh gosh well I want to try something here you got your glasses with you here I do you probably want to put those on what are you gonna do I'm gonna let you hold this thing and read this these People are going to put questions up here. Really? And see if, let's, let me get this turned around here. I'll show you how this works. Okay, that's me. So you hang on to this. You try to, you don't hit any of those buttons there. You see your, you want to get your face in there. There you go. Oh, is that my face? That's you. Who's that now, old, who's that old duffer? Now, can you, can you see the comments there? Jennifer Ann. Now people are gonna, people let's go, this is your question and answer session with Roy here. Stacy, he's young at heart. So now's your chance to ask Roy some questions. You got his full attention. Mom, she's, she played for everyone. All right, here comes some questions. Let's see, we got a question yet? Good morning, Roy. Says Sandra Sarwinski. Sandy, that's our friend Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Our line blackboard. Any pets, Roy? You have any pets? Yeah, uh, Jenny, uh, Jenny Wren, Deborah Powell. Will you marry me? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> There's a good one. Hi, Roy. Well, isn't that nice? Thank you for your service. Well, it was an honor. It was a real honor. Hi, Roy. God bless you. Well, isn't that sweet? Bless you, Becky. My gosh. <laughs> well, aren't these nice comments? Yep. I'm waiting for some questions. Ask. This is your Linda chance. Brough. Hi, Roy. I'm in Boston. Hey, good. I'm in Naples. Jennifer Ann. Hi, Roy. What whoop is went so fast? It's going so fast. I miss Jennifer Ann. Hello from Idaho, Roy. Oh, all the way. Bonnie from Idaho. 
Lori Cochran, hi, Roy. I miss you. Oh, Lori misses me. I miss you too, Lori. Lori out here on the beach. Yeah. Gosh sake. Hello, Roy. Our Linda Blackmore. Canada loves you. Golly. Do you live near the beach? Yes, as a matter of fact. Good morning. Whoops, it's going fast. Ah. Some of them oh, Stacy Stewart, thank you for your service. Well, it was an honor. A big, oh, give you a big hug. Well, I like oh, big boy. hugs, that's for <laughs> sure. Char Charlotte wants to know how my, oh, it's coming great, absolutely great. And I hope to get some flowers one of these days, but it's really sprouting out great. Oh, can we go to dinner? Love you. Who is that from? Oh. Oops, it's <laughs> disappeared, go. but I like it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who you are. Who you are, Roy? Who am I? I'm Roy, I guess. That's all I know. <laughs> Linda Blessinger, Tobin, wants to know what I'm reading. I'm reading a bo boat, a book about boating adventures. It's really thrilling. Cold Ontario from Marjorie Thompson. <laughs> wish I was with you. Yeah, I wish you were too, Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Becky says I'm an amazing man. I don't know why. <laughs> you are amazing, <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm yeah, just hanging in there. Yes, you are. Uh, Jennifer Ann wants to know what's my favorite memory. Oh, here's Sandy Smith. Hi, Roy and Rob. Love the show. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Thanks for watching. Hey, Linda Barnett Barufi says uh, dinner. I'm Linda. I think you're handsome. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, Roy. Linda, I'm all for that. Aren't you sweet? <laughs> Ann White, see you next month, Roy, for some hugs all oh, the way from Nova Scotia. Oh boy! Ah, uh, Bonnie Clayton says I love to visit with you, Roy. We're going for a plunge today. Somebody said I missed who it was though. Yeah, I'm going for a plunge. And here Stacy says, I live near Huntington, Newport, and Laguna Beach in California. California. Ever been to, yeah, yeah, I used to live out in California, Coronado Island, I used to swim out there. The water's a little cool out there. Ha, but great waves crashing in, that's for sure. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, uh, boy. Indiana here, have you been to Indiana? I think so. <laughs> That's from Lana. Becky says, I love the harmonica, but well, thanks, Becky. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Lori Cochran, what is your favorite food? Oh, I like uh, blue cheese and apples and oranges. And <laughs> Smoked salmon. Yeah, yeah, Smoked that salmon. too, yeah. Smoked salmon. Stacy said, do you surf? Well, just when the waves are big, I kind of pooch around a little bit. <laughs> Hill from Toronto, Terry Kenny, you're you're I'm adorable, says Marilyn Beamer. Well <laughs> Aww, I don't think I'm adorable, but thanks, dear. <laughs> and Lexi's from Kentucky. And Chris been to Michigan. Yeah, I went to school at Ann Arbor. I sure been to Michigan. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookies. Carolina O'Connor. Charlene, yeah, she brought me a whole bag of chocolate chippers. Oh boy, were they good. Thanks, Charlene, delicious. I'm still still uh, eating them, they're so good. Maggie Jordan, sunset or sunrise or sunset? I come out for sunrise. <laughs> I like to see the sun come up over the trees. Oh boy. Oh, hey, listen, you got it in on this one. Sandy Smith says, you guys are so handsome, both of you. Oh. Ah, ah, wow. ah, ah. Thank you. Patty Peg Blackmore, good morning from the Bluegrass State, Kentucky. Kathy Roney, Roy, you make my, I make her day, I don't know why. <laughs> she makes mine. Oh, here, these are going too fast here. Hi, hi Roy, from Snowy, Ohio, from Sherry. Becky Guzzo, yes, they are. I don't know what that is. This is, okay. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna do this again. Well, that was Give, a lot of fun. That was neat, wasn't it? Yeah, it that sure was, was something else, Roy. Uh, oh gosh. Oh, thank you, everybody. That was fun. We're gonna definitely do that some more. We'll do that another morning. Let me flip the camera around here. Oh, wasn't that something?
Yeah. Were they were they were they shooting hearts across the screen too while you were reading? I think so. Oh yeah, yeah. the hearts were coming across yeah. and oh. yeah. All the above. It was great. Well people really enjoy that. <laughs> they always are asking questions and about you and I don't know why. This is a great in this a great way to communicate though with people. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Times have changed. So could they hear what I was saying then? Oh yeah, they, they were they could see you and I hope you were showing them your face while you were talking. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. But they, they typed it in though, they didn't talk, they could right. talk. They type it they? in and then you can comment back to them. Yeah. So that was fun. That was great. Yeah, it was. We'll do that again. You okay with that? That was wonderful. Yep. You got some offers for dinner and hugs. Gosh, and... you can't beat that. <laughs> I don't know who'd be picking up the tab, but even so, it'd be a good time. Well, there you go. <laughs> I like that. The dates and the hugs. Yeah. <laughs> we got to definitely do it more often. Can't beat that. Bye, George. <laughs> Out to dinner? Yep. How about that? All right. Well, I got to get rolling. I got to get to work today. But you enjoy your book. Enjoy this beautiful weather. How's, how's the work going? It's busy. Busy That's right good. now. Yep. That's good. Yep. The um, um, yeah, I'm working on a project I'm not too thrilled about right now. But which one is that? Work. Oh, I'm editing together an audio book for somebody. Huh. The oh. guy that the guy that did the narration was terrible. Every you can't even get a sentence out without stumbling. So it's well, a lot of editing. You can't blame work. him for that. Yeah. Well, he's supposed to be a professional. Not everybody is as glib as you are. Oh, yeah, I wish. <laughs> glib. <laughs> There's our word for the day, glib. You got a word of the day. I don't know if that was it. complimentary or not. <laughs> I know. It was kind of <laughs> sketchy there. <Yeah>. Glib. <laughs> but there we got a word. I, of... I thought it was appropriate well, anyway. There you go. Glib. <laughs> You're funny. All right, Daddy O. You have a great day. Okay. Enjoy right. it. You going to take a plunge? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Anybody going to join you today? You got any plungers, plunging well, I don't buddies? I not around just now. All right. I could maybe stir up somebody. I'm sure you could. Just go out there and scream and wave your arms around. Somebody will come out. Yeah, the Coast Guard will come <laughs> and get me. <laughs> All right, Roy. God bless. Yeah. Bless you have you, a great Rob. day. That was a lot of fun. Tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Beautiful, beautiful Thursday here in paradise. Great little conversation with Roy. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll do that again. The comments go so fast, it's hard for him to keep up with them, the comments and questions, but he's doing his best. I know he got a huge thrill out of that. And thank you, everybody that participated. Got a lot of seagrass washed up on the beach today. You can see it all along here, but it's not going to hurt anything. Got some families out here at the beach. That looks like the same two kids that were out here yesterday. Trying to do a little surfing on the waves. Absolutely beautiful here. Low tide's happening right about now. Kid with his fishy, fishy float and swimmy. It's a beautiful morning here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this morning's beach walk at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. I can I can't tell you when I'm going to be out here next. I don't have a set schedule for doing these walks. So I would suggest if you enjoy tagging along with me that you subscribe to my live feeds. You should get a little notification there. It says click here to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I go live. You won't just stumble upon this. But be sure to share my live feeds with your friends. You definitely want to take some time check check out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. 
I'll repost this beach walk a little later today on YouTube and it's a little better quality than the replay of the live feed on Facebook. I'll add the link to the description of this post. I'll probably post another little beach video as well as some photos and that'll also have the link, the YouTube link. And if you can watch the video on YouTube, I appreciate it. it. Helps boost my ratings with YouTube. You'll see a couple of ads pop up in the beginning. If you like what you see, click on the ad. I'll get a whole half a penny or something for that. But every little bit helps. So check out my YouTube channel. Again, be sure to check out Nonstop Naples on Facebook. Check out our Cinco de Mayo event at Felipe's, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Great party, music, food, lots of music. Have a great day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless. Ranger Deb. All of our park rangers are great here. See you later.